Hey, Tim's Workshop here. I'm going to do a, a compression check on the 60 horse Mercury outboard motor. Okay, I printed up the specifications, uh, procedures for doing a compression check and why you do a compression check before you do anything else on uh, your engine. Say like this engine is uh, new for you and you're having issues with the way it runs, uh, it's overheating, anything like that. There's a series of things you have to do to uh, test it to see what you need to do, okay? And so the compression check is one of the first things you do if there's signs of issues with your motor, okay? I printed off the uh, procedure right here. I'm going to read it to you real quick. This is a 1996 Mercury outboard, 60 horse, two-stroke motor with three cylinders, okay? Uh, the procedure in the Mercury uh, service manual also is good for uh, 50 horse and 55 horse Mercury outboard motors. This is electric start, okay? So what I'm going to be reading you relates to electric start uh, motor, okay? So testing procedures for the 1996 Mercury outboard 60 horse motor here. Compression test. First, remove the spark plugs. There's three of them because it's a three-cylinder. Okay. Install compression gauge, which uh, I use a automotive compression gauge. You can use it. Uh, you just have to make sure it's in working order and that the thread uh, will fit the uh, uh, thread insert for the spark plugs. Okay. And your compression gauge on the end of it should have uh, O-rings. Okay should have one o-ring for a smaller size the larger size has an o-ring too okay so make sure that o-ring's in good shape uh, install compression gauge and spark plug hole okay hold the throttle plates in wide open position so you have uh, your link in here that controls all three carburetors this has three and you want them wide open all the way so in order to do that you have to tie them up with a, like a tie strap or something just to hold it open in the video i'll uh, show you that on the video crank engine through at least four compression strokes for each cylinder when you're reading the compression for your top middle and bottom cylinder check and record compression of each cylinder variation of more than 15 psi between cylinders indicates low compression cylinder is in some way defective such as worn or sticky piston rings and or scored piston and cylinder okay Compression check is important because an engine with low or uneven compression cannot be tuned successfully to give peak performance. It is essential, therefore, that improper compression be corrected before proceeding with an engine tune-up. Okay, so if you got issues, you got to stop there and correct the issue that you have before proceeding on. Otherwise, your tune-up's not going to work very good. Okay, the engine's not still gonna, not going to run good. Uh, last. Cylinder scoring. If power head shows any indication of overheating, discoloration, scorched paint back by the cylinder head, visual inspect cylinders, you have to go in now. You know, after you have to take the uh, the head off to inspect the cylinders for scoring or other damage. Okay, so that you have to start digging into it if that's the issue. Okay. So that's a test procedure. So I'm going to take the hood off and uh, I'm going to show you the way I set it up. And uh, the rest of the video will show you uh, the actual test that I did. Uh, I already have the video on my uh, video series, but uh, it was a long time ago. And I wanted to make sure I updated the video so it, uh, it's more up to date. <laughs> more accurate okay so here we go I wanted to show you how to set this up so this is the grounding point right here or oh, actually this one here 
this will ground it right there okay so take this bolt out put that on there it has three big fat wires like number eight gauge wires okay I just have them like you know like this at the ends and then you take off your spark plugs and shove one of these in each one of these uh, spark plug holes you're turning it over you want to make sure that uh, you're not running spark up into your uh, uh, arc into your coils and and the CDI unit the uh, you don't want to damage your CDI this is electronic ignition by the way it doesn't have the uh, coil I mean the points the contact points like the older motors like my uh, Mercury Mark 10 does this has an electric electronic ignition so that in order to prevent damage to the CDI you want to hook up this ground to the to your uh, a ground point on the motor somewhere this is a good spot here off the starter and ground it and then put these uh, three into your spark plugs and uh, your coil plugs and that way you're you're good to go for running it and then this is my uh, electric start you don't have to use this you could uh, start it up there on your uh, the control on, uh, on the boat but what I do is that way I can be back here with the motor I can see what's going on I use uh, the CDI remote starter okay that's the part number there uh, push to, you can even push in to uh, choke the motor okay so it has everything you need to uh, start your motor back here it has a loom that goes with it okay and then what you do is you unplug it right here and plug this in make sure you're uh, you plug it in right push it in there and you're uh, you're ready to go now in order to uh, do any testing on this motor you want to make sure your battery uh, batteries I have two of them are fully charged on this okay before you start because that'll affect your testing if they're not take the uh, take your three uh, spark plugs out lay them in order up top you'll see that on the video make sure you ground out each one of these plugs okay with the ground uh, cable I made and I just made that myself I wrapped it up with uh, I put the lug on hooked it all the three cables here I just use electrical tape around it use electrical tape here you can use uh, heat shrink too if you want okay that's how I made that up alrighty so I wanted to show you that and uh, now we're gonna uh, test out the uh, the compression on this all right it doesn't say to do this but I did it anyway when you uh, crank an engine you need to ground out the uh, coils so um, I hooked it to a ground location I made up my own uh, heavy-duty uh, cable uh, about uh, eight six or eight diameter uh, wires just kind of coiled up the ends and stuck them in the holes it works good especially uh, when you're checking the timing and stuff like that you got to do it but being that you have these unplugged and they're close to the uh, metal you don't want them arcing and then cause a ignition system have problems if uh, you do it wrong compression gauge I just got an auto compression gauge hooked up we have that and then I have a remote hooked up I disconnected the main uh, loon going into the uh, engine from the uh, control panel plugged in the uh, remote you don't have to do this you can do it up front but you definitely want to ground out your uh, plugs when you do that also uh, be a good idea to disconnect your uh, fuel line when you do this I mean there's fuel in the carburetors but whatever all I did is I pulled this three carburetors on a 60 horse uh, Merc so I uh, 
pulled up the uh, linkage and uh, tied it with a tie strap all the way up into position so all three carburetors throttle is wide open to do the compression check all right and then also um, when I pulled out the plugs I have them sitting up here in order this is the top plug middle and bottom plug and uh, in order to clean these things um, I get my uh, propane and uh, turn it on light it and grab a hold of the uh, plug with some pliers and then just uh, go over it and clean the end of it so your uh, your black uh, wet looking plugs are all cleaned up and you can change them if you want but these are new I mean they're not that old so I'm just going to clean them up before our next trip out all right so let's uh, crank her over and see what we have here Okay, top cylinder, 125. Oh, that's good. Hit the relief on it. And then we'll uh, move it down to the middle cylinder. Also, for each one of these cylinders, they're always a little wet because of the uh, oil injection. I clean out these things with a little paper towel. Makes a little, little better seal on these. Make sure there's nothing on your O-ring. And then screw it into number two. Just finger tight. All right, try this one. Okay, it's a, uh, uh, let's see, 100, uh, 10, 15, 20, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. So it's uh, 120 on the middle cylinder within the 15 PSI. Only 5 PSI difference. Okay, then the third cylinder. Uh, turn this a little bit more that way when I pick it up I don't lose it by hitting the button like I just did try it again there we go and 120 on that one as well so they're all within uh, 5 PSI of each other. Top cylinder was 125, middle was 120, and bottom is 120. So the compression is good. So next thing is I'm going to clean up the plugs, put them back in, put everything back together, and uh, 
hook up my uh, water to the uh, lower unit and uh, run it for a bit make sure it's all good and be ready for the next uh, trip out to the sound and do some fishing.